Welcome to Test Optima Model Based Testing Tutorial. In this short tutorial, I will demonstrate Test Optimal, the next generation test design and test automation tool based on model based testing. Model based testing, short name MBT, is a proven technology that has been widely used for embedded system testing in banking, automotive, and telecom industry, where rigorous testing is critical to the success of the business. Now this technology is available for software application testing. Not only can it help you to achieve a better and consistent test coverage, but more importantly, it enables you to catch defects earlier, enhance the agility of your testing process, and reduce your testing cycle. Model-based testing is defined as the automation of the design of black box tests. It centers around the model that describes the behavior of the system under test and uses that model to derive or generate test cases. As you can see, the concept of model-based testing is quite simple and straightforward. However, in order to make model-based testing effective, it must be integrated with test automation due to the fact that typical model-based testing tool can easily generate large number of test cases from the model, which makes it impractical to execute them manually. Test Optimum provides an integrated solution from modeling to test case generation test automation and test execution. Model-based testing process is an iterative process. The first step in the process is modeling, which sets the foundation for the rest of the MBT process. The models created in modeling step are refined in the test generation step to produce the desired test coverage. In the test automation step, models are transformed into executable. These executable models are then deployed in a runtime environment and executed to perform the testing on the application. Results from the model's executions are then analyzed to complete one MBT iteration. During each MBT iteration, the models are refined and enhanced, and new models are created to respond to new requirements and requirement changes. As a result, models grow in size and complexity, as more functionalities are added to the application. So what are the benefits of model-based testing? A recent survey conducted by Robert Binder showed that MPT can help reduce the escape defects by 59% compared with the traditional testing approach. This is due to better test design and test coverage by MPT. A survey also shows that MPT can reduce the overall testing costs by 17% and shorten the testing cycle by 25%. Another benefit of MPT that has been widely reported is that model-based testing can help you catch the requirements defects much earlier in the development process. With the traditional testing process, requirements defects are only discovered during user acceptance testing or in production. With model-based testing, requirements defects are often detected during the modeling process while software is still being designed and developed. These benefits and many more are being replicated by the Innovation and Technology Group of Primary Healthcare in Australia. The Innovation and Technology Group has been using Test Optimal as their model-based testing tools for many years and has accomplished a remarkable success in applying model-based testing to its verification and validation of the entire suite of applications. They have seen the testing cycles reduced by over 60%. What they have accomplished can certainly be repeated in your organization as well. Enough talk. Let's see what a model-based testing model looks like and how it actually works in practice. This is a model for testing a simple web application consisting of five web pages. The model is described as a state diagram, also known as finite state machine diagram. The model has been automated for online model-based testing, which means when the model executes, it generates test cases at the same time executes them in real time. Let me demonstrate that. model is now running. As the model executes, the test sequence is visualized on the model in sync with the web pages being tested. Let's pause the execution for a second and take a look at the test sequence that has generated and executed so far. We can view the test sequence test optimal has generated from the model in this sequence graph. We can see already there's a failure highlighted in red. We will review the details of this failure in a moment. We can also view the same test sequence in the message sequence chart. The message sequence chart presents the same test sequence in the context of individual test cases. 
Again, failure is highlighted in red. I can check for the test coverage with the coverage graph. The green color indicates the state or transition has been covered by this test sequence. The ability to visualize test cases and animate a model execution can help you gain insight into the dynamic behavior of the application under test and find defect and inconsistencies in the requirements early in the development process. They also provide developers with the detailed information to reproduce the defect and the test cases to confirm the fix. Let's resume the model execution and let the model run in the background to completion while we examine other aspects of the model execution. As model executes, the extensive set of statistics of the execution is automatically collected. This includes the detailed test coverage of the model, the details of the failure, and this particular failure, it detected the missing of the product code in the page title. It even takes a screenshot of the application at the time of the failure. Here is the proof that the page title is indeed missing the product code. The statistics of the application performance are collected automatically for each transaction in the model and compared against previous executions. Test Optima also supports requirement traceability. The requirement coverage is automatically tracked and reported where the model is executing. Not only can we generate the test sequence from the model, we can also incorporate data-driven testing and pairwise combinatorial testing technique to generate test data sets to feed into the test sequence. This model uses pairwise algorithm to generate the test data sets to test different combinations of types of credit cards used to pay for the order, the shipping carrier, and other options on the checkout page. This is reflected in the multiple traverses of the pay transaction as shown in this message sequence chart representing the execution of these different test scenarios. You might be asking, how do I build such a model? The model is just a state diagram, as I mentioned earlier. With Test Optimal IDE, creating a model is quite easy. It's as simple as right mouse clicking and right mouse drag and drop. It's certainly not nearly as complex as other modern tools you might have seen. To automate the model, you just write a few lines of M script for each transition. M script is essentially XML scripting, which is very simple and easy to learn. The fully automated model I just demonstrated has less than 200 lines of M scripts. How about handling requirements changes? Changes are very expensive for traditional testing process. With MBT, changes are welcome. Changes are handled efficiently by making adjustments to the model. Suppose a new requirement was requested to provide express checkout from the product list page if the shopping cart has at least one item. With traditional testing approach, I will need to create a few new test cases and modify existing test cases to test this new requirement in the context of all other requirements already implemented and also have my test automation engineers to implement them. Imagine how long this entire process will take. With Test Optimal, all I need to do to handle these new requirements is just create a new transition, add a guard condition for this transition so that it is only valid when the shopping cart is at least one item and add one line of same script to click on the Express Checkout link on the product list page. That's all I have to do. Next time, when the model is executed, Test Optima will automatically incorporate this new transition into its test sequence. As you can see, it literally took me less than a minute to accomplish all this. Let's talk about load testing. Models we have developed for functional testing can be repurposed for load testing without changes. The test sequence generated from the model represents the application behavior and therefore they represent real production use cases. Test Optimal provides a runtime facility to allow us to execute these models with a large number of virtual users. By doing so, we can expose the application under test to a realistic and precise production load of many users running different scenarios against the application under test. MBT is an iterative process. It allows us to start with a small model and grow our model over time, as we just did by adding the Express Checkout transition to the existing model. This fits very well in the agile development process, in which models built in previous iterations are extended to support new user stories. Regardless of which development process you use, model-based testing with Test Optimal can greatly improve your testing coverage, enhance your ability to handle changes quickly, 
improve the agility of your testing process and shorten your testing cycle. You are encouraged to download our 30-day trial and use it on a pilot project to experience the power of model-based testing.